there's a problem with this drill press and the problem is it's lost all its torque. I've been working it pretty hard making making birdhouses use turning these big uh, pole saws as such and these large Forstner bits. So this is a four inch hole saw and this is a four inch Forstner bit. My original problem with this drill drill press was the vibration from turning these, these big heavy tools was causing the chuck to come loose in the quill and it would fall out on me. So I cured that, or at least thought I'd cured all my problems. Chuck was falling out, so what I did was I took it out here, I cleaned it, I put it in the freezer overnight, and then the next day I came back, got my propane torch, and I heated up this female portion of the quill. I heated this up, froze that, put the chuck up in there, give it a bit of a tap, and with the uh, with the expansion of the quill and the, and the shrinking of the of the of the taper on this on this drill chuck, I thought I'd solved all my problems. So I don't know if there was something plastic up in here that's melted that I damaged, or is it just a, just created a whole new problem. I honestly don't know. But the problem is, I can turn I can turn this pulley up here and I'm hanging on a chuck and the chuck ain't moving but the pulley's turning. So originally I thought maybe the belts were slipping but it's not a slipping belt. Now, I've looked on this I've looked on this pulley looking to see if there's like a an allen key hex head key set screw or something that locks this locks this pulley to the quill but I don't I don't see it. So I got four problems all at once here. First problem is getting it apart. Second problem is I've got to be able to determine what's wrong with it. Third, I've got to be able to see if I can fix it. And fourth, I've got to actually get it back together because I really want to use it. And uh, you can buy a small drill press like this that sits on a table for less than 200 bucks. But for some reason, adding this long uh, shaft so the thing mounts on the floor, they go from 200 bucks to 1000 it's just a piece of steel. I have no idea why they charge so much for floor mounted drill presses versus table mounted drill presses. Um, this particular one is an old King Canada. It's a KC-17FC which means it's a King Canada and a 17 inch 17 inch something I don't know what maybe 17 inches from here to, to the top of that. I'm not sure what the 17 inch refers to unless it's got something to do with this. You can put a 17 inch piece in here. Nope, because that's only six and a half, so that's 13 inch. Really, I don't, I really don't know what the 17 inch refers to. F 15 inch center from, from, from the motor to the center to the center of the front pulley, so I'm going to have to Google that one and see what it actually means. For the moment, I don't really care. I just want to get it apart. Then get this thing apart and figure out what's wrong with it. And I just started making a, another birdhouse. <coughs> and I can't go any further because this thing's got absolutely no torque. So there's a nut and a bolt here. And this, of course, is how you how you wind and set the set the tension on your on this on the uh, on the recoil spring. Okay. So there's the spring. Any lock. Shaft might pull out of here. Hang on to this. There we go. Down comes that. That part's easy. That's on there. So what in the hell? So 
So this is way less complicated than I thought. So I'm putting it all back together. Oh, we've got to put the spring back on and tension it up. So we'll get the nut back on so this thing can't pop out on me. I've got to be able to turn it enough counterclockwise that I can tighten the spring. Locks in like that. So I've got to just keep turning this until I'm happy with the tension. Put a glove on here so it doesn't smack my fingers if I let go of it. Okay. Oh good. Okay, so anyway, my problem is way simpler than what I thought it was. Anyway, I had it all apart and I figured that out, but I was looking for a set screw in here, but there isn't one. But what there is, is there's this nut. You see that thing there with the two grooves? You need a special wrench to tighten that thing, and I'm pretty sure I don't have it. So I'm gonna have to hit that with a hit that with a hammer and a punch to lock it down. So far as I can tell, that's it. This big this big nut here. It would need a special wrench to fit inside these two uh, those two grooves so you can tighten it. But this is a drill press passed down from a from a friend, and I didn't buy it. So. I don't have that tool. And it happens to be left hand thread. It'd be nice if it had a, uh, if it was a lock washer underneath it. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole thing that keeps the tension of this pulley. Here we're making any headway here. <clears throat> ah, it's making a difference. Okay. Well, we'll see if she has any torque. to how well I've got things tightened. I need to tighten the table on this one too. Well, here goes. Special wrench, circular wrench with a handle on it and two pins coming down and lock into that so you can put a nice even torque on it. Oh, made myself a little tool here. Yeah, so I had this found this old scrap washer. It's got to be three-eighths of an inch thick. And I drilled two holes in it to get a uh, some hardened steel, so I use 3 16 drill bits. And I don't know if you can tell, but I flattened the side here and here. So that this nut will fit down inside here like this. And the purpose for that is to fit the special nut that's on the uh, on the shaft here that holds the tightens the pulley. Yeah, so the nut this nut fits on here very nice. Fits nice as dog, only a tiny bit of play in it, so it's a very good fit. And I can tighten it a bit, but I what I'd really like to do is be able to torque that down. So I just happen to have an extra 9 16 
socket. It fits on here and turns freely. So I gotta grind this a bit or grind that just a touch so that'll go down in there and then I can weld this weld this in here and then I'll be able to put a ratchet on here and give that some little bit more torque. So that's where we're at. So that's just a kind of it's a press fit now actually it's just pounded in there grounded and pounded and I've got a, uh, a long thin bolt in here to stop the, the whole spindle from turning and we'll just see it's turning that's the question how much is tightening It's about as tight as I'm going to get it. So the real question is, have I actually accomplished anything? If I can't turn this big drill, or this big portion of it, and all the tightening that I've, the tool I've made, and the tightening I've tried to do is all for naught. It may just be overworking the drill, and perhaps what I should be using on this stuff is a milling machine and not a drill. But I've made several with it already, so something's, something's loosened up and I'm hoping that I have tightened it enough to continue using it. We are about to find out. down in about another inch and a half to two inches but total depth is only a little over three we need to go twice that far there's starter holes in here but I need to bore out more of this material before I go back to the big uh, portion of it so as you can see we've been making a pile of sawdust and I managed to get this this birdhouse bored down the full six inches that I wanted and if you notice in the previous videos there was a there was a there was a big crack here. Well I filled that in with glue and sawdust inside and out. Need some sanding. Um, now what I'm ready to do with this is take it off this base, turn it upside down and make make the roof line and everything else. But well the good news is the cheap and dirty tool that I made here out of an old washer and a and a couple of drill bits and a, an expendable socket did the job, managed to tighten down the, the pulley to the quill. Everything is working as it should and as a matter of fact what happens if, if there's too much of a load the belts start to slip and that is actually a safety feature so you don't don't damage your motor or, or cause a, an over torque of something you're working on where it, it could be damaged or harm yourself. So working exactly the way it should and I'm happy about that. I just got to keep this little baby handy in case I ever need it again. So that's the end of this video, so we'll catch you later.